¿Cómo están? Aquí trayéndoles novedades desde China. Fíjense que me encuentro arriba de un carro que es la competencia de Uber. Aquí en China se llama DD. Eh, para los que no sepan, pues es la competencia de Uber. Uber aquí en China tronó. No porque haya tronado, sino porque esta compañía china es mucho más grande que al menos en China y compró los derechos y compró a Uber en China. Entonces me encuentro en una especie como de servicio de Uber. Eh, pero lo interesante de esto es lo que les quiero mostrar a nuestros amigos de Tixus. De Tixus Autos. Eh, regularmente cuando tú compras un carro y lo buscas, que el carro sea equipado y todo, pues las versiones más altas, las más equipadas con ahora sí que con mayor equipo vuelgas en la rebusnancia eh, pues te cuestan más caras 50, 100 mil pesos, 150 mil pesos por traer los famosos gadgets ahorita como verán estoy en un en un Toyota y les voy a mostrar, voy a cambiar la cámara miren, este Toyota aquí el muchacho el buen muchachón, le hizo un cambio y miren lo que le puso le adaptó esa pantallota gigante que incluye Android Auto y pues la verdad se ve tipo auto premium digo bueno ya le puso ahí una calcomanía que ni al caso verdad pero hablando de la pura de la pura pantalla le quedó muy bien entonces si se fijan es una manera barata de poder tener un un carro mejor o un carro más equipado digámoslo eh, se ve muy padre, dice que tiene Bluetooth y trae, bueno, muchas funciones. Bueno amigos, pues como verán, se ven bastante padres estas pantallas. Y está muy de moda acá en China. Bueno, y para los que preguntan qué carros son los que andan rifando aquí en China, pues aquí en China se ve de todo. Hola amigos, pues ¿cómo están? Pues les quiero presentar a un buen amigo mío, Mr. Liu. Él es de aquí, de China. Y bueno, nos va a hablar un poco cuál es realmente lo que piensan los chinos de los carros. Para que no nos digan historias y luego no digan, ay, no sé qué, no sé qué. Les voy a, los voy a tratar de, de entrevistar. Luego se los voy a poner a ustedes en español. Hey, Mr. Liu, yes. what do you think about the cars in China, the car industry? I mean, which one are the popular brands in China, really? Uh, it's BN. BMW, Benz, uh, Audi, Toyota. But which one you think is the most most popular people driving in China? I think BMW. BMW. Yes. More than Benz? Why not more than Benz? I think because many young people like the BMW. It's like you. You have BMW. Yes. It's not because you're doing telling me this because <laughs> you have a BMW. No, no, no. On the street, many BMW. Many BMW. Yeah. How about the price? They are expensive in, in China? About the trip is one, about 400,000 Chinese money. About. 400,000 Chinese money. It's about, in USA money, how much will be? In USA. U USA money. In USA, let me see. About 80. 80,000 80, US dollar. 80? 80. The cheapest model. Yes, the cheapest it would be the se Series 3, right? Series 1. Yes, 3. Uh, three, three. Series 3. Yes. There's no such cheap. It's, it's expensive. Hey, why, there's, why so many premium cars in China? Because I see on the streets, when I'm outside, many, many premium cars. Chinese people very rich? Yeah, Chinese people getting more rich every day more rich yeah. <laughs> how about how about the traffic here in the city the traffic is good is bad what do you think the traffic is not good how many hours when people come to work and people finish job go back home that is terrible the traffic you cannot move on the street 
Talking about the brands, uh, you told me the the Chinese brands. What Chinese people think about the Chinese brands? Chinese brand is cheap, cheaper car. It's for the Chinese people. Most of the Chinese people buy the Chinese brand because the price, the price about one hundred thousand Chinese money, about fifteen U fifteen thousand U.S. dollar. But you think uh, people like or no? For me, I don't like honest. But many people buy. For you need to use. For you or for the major, for the rest of the China people don't like. Tell me the truth. Tell them friends that. <laughs> it seems to me that you don't want to say the truth. You know, for Chinese company, I think they are very big, but they don't know how to create their own thing. They always follow the big brand, and the shape, anything. They just follow, follow. They don't create by themselves. So you're saying they they copy the bigger brands? I so so. I think so. I mean the shape. Okay. Uh, one question that is always in in there in my country uh, is Buick. Yeah. For you, Buick is premium brand or not? No. Not even here in China. It's not premium brand. No, Buick is uh, middle. Middle. Yes. So we cannot. Same as Toyota. Toyota. So Buick for you is same as Toyota. Yes, same Toyota. You don't you don't feel like Buick is like Audi, Benz, like no, this? No, no, no. Less, less class. Less class. One step. One step less. You are telling me about Toyotas. Why you don't like you like Toyotas Japanese cars? I don't like Toyota. Honest, I feel in China the Toyota the quality is not so good. Yes, they save the gas, but any time the crash, Toyota is rubbish. Maybe in your country Toyota is very good quality, but in China, I heard that they keep the good quality in Japan in other country, but only keep the triple quality in China. This is what I hear. I don't know it's true or not, but I I feel Toyota in China the quality not good. In my country, Toyota is one of the best. Is they say it can last for years, many years, have very good reputation. But like you saying, uh, maybe they keep in Japan the good quality and export the bad ones. I guess you, that's what China, China people tell you. Yes, some people say like this way. Okay, and um, what about the other brands that they are in China? For example, Volkswagen is popular. Volkswagen here? No. Nothing. Not so popular. How about GM? No. GM? GM, General Motors, Chevrolet? No, no. No? no. Ford? Ford? Ford is okay. But how how is the level? How okay? Same build. Same as Buick? Yeah. You put in Buick same level of Ford? Yeah. For the people thinking in China? Yes. Wow. First level is Benz. Uh, BM and Audi. Okay. Second level is uh, Ford and Toyota, and some Buick, and then a Chinese car. In you China, it's like this way, and uh, rich people buy the very rich car. Like, like Lamborghini. Lamborghini, uh, Ferrari, uh, expensive car. What about the Japanese brands like Honda, like? Uh, Nissan, you have? Yes, also have some people. Uh, same Toyota, same Toyota. But people like to buy Japanese car in China. For me, I don't like, but still have many people buy. Still on the street, many Japanese car. What about the price? Also, also the sa they save the gas. Not same the USA car ja uh, and Germany car. For USA car quality good, Germany car quality good. They are heavy, that's why quality. You need more gas, but Japanese car is very light, not heavy. That's why save the the gas. The gas cost in China is expensive. How much? Expensive. How much? For me, each time go to put in the gas it cost me about eighty, eighty US dollar. Full tank. Yeah, one tank. Okay. 
What about the Korea brands like Kia, Hyundai? People like in China? Mm, not so. Don't not, not so popular. So right now, which one do you think uh, is the most most popular brand in China? The most the top one? Not because premium, it because you see so many on the street. I think BM, BMW. I know many people have BMW. They yeah. made they made the price anything fit for the young people. You have a BMW, I know. Uh, but you tell me your BMW is made in China, not Germany. You don't like this. Yes, honest. I want to import from Germany, but the main part is still made in Germany. It just made together in China. Okay. Okay, friends. Uh, thank you. Gracias por vernos. Hasta aquí lo vamos a dejar con mi amigo thank you. Liu. Thank you, Liu. Mm. Yeah, welcome. Bye bye. Bueno, y puros carrotes premium aquí, pero la neta, la neta en China no saben manejar. No voy más que una cuadra y no saben ni para adelante ni para atrás. Tienen mucha la. Escuchan eso, escuchan eso. O sea, es un. Es un pedacito así de cuadra. Y no pueden manejar. Y puro carrote, puro Saudi Sports. Y no saben manejar. Bueno, y luego se enojan de que las mujeres no se saben estacionar. Hasta aquí en China no saben manejar las mujeres. Se tuvo que bajar y subirse a alguien para poderse estacionar. Así es, mis amigos. Hasta en China las mujeres no saben. Hola amigos, si te gustó el video dale like, comparte y suscríbete. Si quieres ver más videos, dale click aquí.